Okay, so here we are now for example four. So to begin with, we're going to play the fourth on third and the second on second. Back to the fourth on third. This note here, actually, if you were to play a B sus2 chord, that's the note that defines that chord. And um, without getting too complicated, a, a sus2 chord just means that you replace the third with the second degree. So in the case of the B minor, this note here, the D, is the third. B, C, D, one, two, three. So that C sharp, B to C sharp in this key, is the second. So if we take that off, we get the B sus2. That also works from the major B. But it's very good for, um, say I'm doing a picking pattern that alternates between B minor and B sus. And then what's cool about it is, is that you could take that B note off and get like a completely different sound. So start with the B minor shape, take the index off, keep string one open so you can use that. And it looks like a, an open A minor shape, except moved up to. The reason for that is that open A minor, open A minor, I should say, uh, is the parent shape of the bar chord B minor. So. What you could do then is you get your B minor chord, B sus, and just repeat that, change then, notice that I just took the index off from the bar and that leaves me with an open first string and an open fifth. Same basic idea. And I mean, as far as the picking pattern goes, you can just experiment and do whatever you want there. It's not really a big deal. And uh, to top that off, you could actually use the G note then. That's on string six, fret three, and then go back to the A. So yeah, something interesting you could expand out upon there. Okay, so moving into bar three, we've got that D shape again. And then we've got three, two on string one, three on the second and one open. So it's third on second again. So bars three and four. Notice that you could keep the bar down, then just use your third finger at fret three on string one. Obviously, you would have to take the finger off once you get to the open first string. Okay, so let's listen to bars one, two, four. One, two, three, four, rest. So moving into the fifth bar then, we've got four, two, four on string three. Two on the first, two on the third, and four on the third. So we get. Now for the final part. We're going to move into the fifth position initially. So we've got seven and five on the first, seven on the second. And then we're going to do a pentatonic run in the seventh position. So the way this works is start at the seventh on string one, 
Then you've got 10 and 7 on the second, 9 and 7 on the third, and then on the fourth, and then back to 9 on the fourth. And when you've done the repeat, you want to keep that third finger down at the ninth fret because then you're going to add in the seventh fret where you bar strings one, two, three, and just gently brush through to end on a B minor chord. So we get. So let's uh, finish up by having a slow playthrough from bars five to the end. One, two, three, four. Thank you.